I'm Adam Balkin. What you're looking at is a three-dimensional image of a sunken ship underneath the Throgsnet Bridge. The image is being captured by something called an echoscope, part of an underwater inspection system that sees beneath the sea where human eyes can't. It's completely unique, the only one in the world, because what it enables you to do is literally see in 3D underwater in zero visibility water. It's using sound to see, so we've effectively got a, an acoustic video stream. So think of it as a normal video stream, but instead of using a camera, we're using a sonar. So what that enables you to do, obviously the sonar sound waves go into the water and they reflect back off the objects and that paints a picture on, on our screen. The sonar was originally developed to help oil companies inspect offshore rigs for damage, but it's being further developed through a contract with the Coast Guard for Homeland Security. The vision for how it may work to protect us by creating essentially a visual catalog of all our ports and shores. If we make a scan on day one, and we can use that as our baseline, as our reference, if we, we come back and scan again and we know what targets we've seen, we've marked them and we can pick in a position, we can see if anything's changed. So conventionally where you'd have to put in a security exercise a team of divers down to scan hand over hand and it takes them hours or days to cover a small area, we can cover that same area in minutes. And developers say in no way is this system designed to take the place of human divers, but rather it's designed to help divers, help them be deployed and used more efficiently. So if uh, NYPD, for example, got a call of a, sus a suspicious activity spotted, someone planting something, say for example, at the base of a bridge, or they had information to lead them to that, they could go there on their boat put, with this system mounted on the side, quickly scan around the bridge and determine if, the object, if there was an object there. At that point, they could then take the divers in for a closer look, but they've saved a huge amount of time and made it a lot safer. Helpers say right now the sonar is being looked at by several law enforcement departments, and that the Coast Guard is evaluating some systems off the coasts of Florida and Louisiana. Adam Ball.